So in this video, what we're going to be doing is adding a WHERE clause to our query, which will mean that we can query specific things out of the database depending on whatever the user puts in the search box. And that's what we want to be able to do to create our search engine. We don't want to just return every piece of information we have about anything when somebody puts in a certain query. So the first thing I'm going to do is empty our table. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to import um, the index table I already have with things in it because it has a thousand websites already crawled. And before I do that, I just want to make note of something. You can see here URL hash. We had originally planned to uh, create it to be unique. So there you go. It's just been converted to being a unique uh, field now. That would mean that the uh, SQL server wouldn't allow me to insert two URL hashes that are the same. The reason for that was because in the prototype I created before the series, there was problems with inserting duplicate URLs and things like that. But as it turns out, in the modified version we made in the videos, we don't actually need it. So we don't really need URL hash. We can take that out and change it to URLs so that in our queries, uh, if you look here, you can see in our queries, we are just updating URLs. So we're saying where URL is equal to URL. We don't actually need URL hash anymore. So what I'm going to do is first delete this table. I'm going to click drop to get rid of that table that drops the table. And then I'm going to click import and I'm going to import a table that already has records in it. So here I have a table that already has lots of records in it. So I'm going to click open and I'm going to upload that to PHP my admin. Then I'm going to go to structure and I'm going to click browse. You can see if I go to structure again, the difference is that URL hash is 40. You can just change that or you can get rid of URL hash if you want. Other than that, the table is exactly the same as our old table, but it has lots of uh, websites already in it. It has pages and pages. It has 49 pages of websites. Go to this random page and you can see uh, we have just random websites that have already crawled. So now if I just refresh this, you can see we get a lot more return to us. It's uh, taking a lot longer, but there you go. We have a lot more return. So what we're going to do is go to search.php and we're going to say where title is like and we're going to use the MySQL like operator and the way this works is we're going to say like and we're going to pass it a string so I'm going to use the single quotes to pass it a string so if I put in a percent sign and I put an A before it this means that the MySQL will return anything that starts with an A and has any characters after it if I put a percent sign on either side of the A what it's going to do is return anything where there's any letters either side of it and there's an A in between so what we're going to do is we're going to have two percent signs and then we're going to have our search query. So it's going to essentially look something like this. So let's run this for now and let's see what we get. And as you can see now we're getting things that are like how codes where the title has the word how code in it because that's what we search for. That's what search is equal to. That's what we're getting back. It's a much smaller query. You can see the scroll bar is a lot smaller and the number of results returned is also a lot smaller. So if I go back to our index page, say I put in something else, say how to, and I hit enter. Here we have two results returned because it has the word how to in it. But if I search something like how to code, we get no results. Because what's happening is our search query is three separate words. But what we're doing is treating it as one entire sentence. So what we need to do is split up our search query. So to do that, we're going to say search underscore e for I uh, just says search e is equal to explode we're going to explode on new light we're going to explode on spaces and then we're going to say search we're going to print this out whoops print our search e we're going to run this and you can see we get three items in this array so what we need to do is we need to take all of these items in the array and we need to add them into our search query. We're not worrying about prepared statements in the minute. We're going to get onto that later. So the first thing I'm going to do is say for each search a as term because we're going to refer to each keyword as a term. And up here we're going to create a variable called x and it's just going to be incremented. And we're going to say x plus plus to increment x by one every time 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to say if x is equal to 1, we'll do one thing. Otherwise, we'll do something else. And this makes no sense at the minute, probably, but it will make a lot more sense um, really soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to say delete this, and we're going to say where construct. And this is a variable that we're going to be creating in here. So we're going to say construct is equal to an empty string. And we're going to say if it's equal to 1, we're going to say our construct. And we're going to say dot equals. We could say equals as well, but uh, that'll make more sense in a minute as well. Dot equals to append onto the string. We're going to say construct is equal to title like title like term. So essentially what this means is the first time this loop runs, we're going to be changing our query. So uh, at the minute our query looks like this. And at the minute there's nothing. So what we're doing the first time the loop runs is changing it to this. The first time it runs, this is the query it's going to create. The second time it runs, if I just copy this, and we're going to change this to an OR with a space, and that means the second time it runs, it's going to look like this. And we're going to do it one more time. The third time it runs, it's going to look like this. So by the end of it, we'll have a, con we'll have a query that looks like this, and our construct will look like this. So let's just run this again. So as you can see, we get a lot more results returned to us. If we just scroll all the way down, we can count how many results we have. We have 215 results. We can make our query more specific or we, by uh, saying and we refresh. And now, we get, and now we get a much more refined search result. What we're going to do is we're going to change this to or because that means we'll get a lot more results and we have a lot more results we can actually look at then. So you can see we scroll down here, we get things where the title has PHP in it, learn PHP, learn PHP, stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the title, the keywords and the description of each result. So the way we do that is we say where title is like term or title is like, or description should I say, is like term. or keywords or like term. Then we're going to say and, and we're just going to copy and paste this again. And we'll run it again. So you can see we get a lot of results returned. That's because one useful thing is when you get a lot of results returned is you can use PHP to check all of the results and check which is most relevant. We'll not be doing that in this series. That's the sort of thing we'll be doing in the more advanced search engine in the next series. But as you can see, we get a lot more results returned, so we have a lot more we can use. Before we go, what I'm going to do is just simply uh, say if results row count is greater than zero, echo this, otherwise echo something else. So we'll say echo zero results found. And we'll just put a new line, or a line underneath that. Or else we'll say echo results row count results found. I will just print this out and see what we get. So we're actually printing it way at the bottom. If you can see there it says zero results found. That's not quite right. 
Okay, so what we got is equal to greater than zero, so we'll say equal to zero. Scroll, scroll all the way down, and you can see it says 54 results found. So we just want to place this up at the top. We just want to place it above this, and after the pre tag. Refresh, and you can see it says 54 results found, and here we have all of our uh, results. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. In the next video, what we'll be doing is using prepared statements to make our queries a lot more secure. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.